My name is Tony Baca, Senior Vice President of Safety at Bergling Construction Company. This safety talk this week is about the acronym THINK. The hazard is not knowing. What exactly does that mean? We're doing lots of training this winter. We're working with our Milwaukee division, performing OSHA 30 hour training on 18 different construction standards. We're doing CPR training in Milwaukee. And now we're moving down this third week uh, in February and completing our OSHA 30 hour and CPR classes here at the South office. We've incorporated lull safety training, lift safety training, and scaffold safety training. And we're hoping that our new hires coming in this season, when we start hiring in March and April, have learned a lot about what they're supposed to be doing on our job sites in a safe manner from their apprenticeship programs at the unions. And we've actually reached to our existing tradespeople and asked them to call their unions for additional safety training that's offered by all the unions. And the reason for all of this is safety is our priority, but if you don't understand the hazards associated with the task, then you don't know that you're putting yourself in a hazard. As we know, falls are the number one killer in the construction industry. Um, caught between struck by are number two, electrical is number three, and excavations are number four. But when I ask my class and my tradesmen out there in the field, questions in regard to safety that are written by OSHA, I'm not always getting the proper answer and the correct answer, especially when it comes to fall protection. How far are you going to fall off a leading edge using a retractable versus a shock absorbing lanyard? And I may get 10 different answers when all the, those answers should be one and the same. So what we're realizing is our tradesmen might not know the proper answers to particular safety questions performed in their tasks. They may not know how to use particular tools. They may not know that they're in the pathway of a piece of equipment and could be crushed by or caught between. So there's a lot of hazards of the unknown out there. We do have a, a text that goes along with this safety talk this week that I would like for our supervision to read on the job sites, but it's everyone's responsibility for safety from upper management, executives, project managers, superintendents, general field superintendents, and tradespeople to help one another out, network safety topic matter, understand your task at hand, and do it in a safe manner. So with all that being said, let's talk a little bit about the hazard is not knowing. Could be confined space, could be helicopter picks, could be excavations or steel erection. There's a lot of tasks out there that we're not real familiar with, and we should network with each other to become more familiar with. We end up asking our superintendents, our frontline supervisors, for an awful lot of guidance out there to coordinate their people, bring a job in on schedule productively, safely, with good quality measures implemented, but once again, the hazard is not knowing in regard to quality. It's a lot to learn out there as we all become veteranized in this industry. So let's look at this this week more closely. Let's read the text provided. Let's have a safe day and let's have a safe week. Thank you.